Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio is here. The General Chair is in EMS Committee in Situate. Now, Situate is just one of many committees across our towns, I should say, across the state of Rhode Island that have either an all-volunteer fire department or a combination. What is the concern, General, on your end on those unfunded mandates? I think my concern is shared by many people that uh, once you have a unfunded mandate that is applied to firefighting, as an example, it's a, but a short step to go from applying it to a, a pay volunteer, a paid individual versus a volunteer. So my concern is at some juncture we'll look at the possibility that we would be mandated to do something beyond volunteerism. And that's a costly proposition. Well, you're going to get that argument. Why not a full-time uh, fire department in every city and town? Because most towns and cities that still enjoy volunteerism can do it well within their budget. And they don't go over budget. And a prime example of that was when you look at Coventry, even where they have the ability to tax the, the uh, citizenry, it's still not enough money. So when you have volunteerism, it's a win-win for everyone concerned. What? And, and this situates a prime example. What makes someone want to volunteer? It gives them a, an excellent opportunity to build up a resume to apply for a full-time job in some other town and city. All right, uh, changing gears real quickly. We're getting close to a new adjutant general. Yes, we are. I, I would think over the next, uh, certainly this coming week, uh, we're in the final stages and uh, the governor is doing an outstanding job as far as vetting it and making sure that she's comfortable and has the right individual in the job. The general actually chairs that uh, search committee. General McBride retired uh, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. so that's why the replacement is needed. General, as always, thank you for your thoughts. For more, you can go to our website, WPRI.com.